first vlog using it. I think I'm pretty happy with it so far. It does um, suffer a little bit in lower lighting, but um, for the price range, I think it's a good camera. Um, we're on our way to a new doctor. I've never seen this doctor before. I'm sorry the camera is shaking so much. This doctor is supposed to be for my hypogammaglobinemia. I have no idea what we're doing. I'm assuming we're gonna be talking about treatments, op treatment options. I got diagnosed with this through Cantrell. Uh, y'all saw my later videos, y'all know that I fired her. She's just rude. Um, she, I don't think she should be a doctor, or at least she should get better bedside manner, but she's not a surgeon, so I don't know what the hell you call it. <laughs> no! Goodness. Um, but we're gonna go see this doctor and see what he has to, he or she has to say. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. She didn't tell us that much at all or what she did and what she did tell me I forgot by now and I'm pretty sure so did my mom so um this is kind of a test for this camera I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep it though um it doesn't work with my light that I got for my birthday though um I turned 21 on July 10th so it was a few days ago but um I'm gonna get a lamp so that I can still use that light because it's like a light that you can talk to and turn it off and stuff. I do not have very, very much battery though, but um, I'm hopefully gonna try to charge the battery in the office a little bit. And um, basically, we're gonna just see how this goes. Hopefully I like this doctor. Um, I think it's an oncologist, is that what you said? So I don't know what that means. I'll cancer. A cancer doctor? I don't think that's the official title. Well, I've had cancer before, so it won't be a surprise. Anyway, um, no, woo, woo. But, okay, so I have had like the high stabilization thing on this whole time. So if this video looks really dumb because of that, I apologize. But I didn't tell y'all about this a long time ago, but I finally got, ooh, it's pink. I finally got, um, what do you call it? Approved for permanent disability pass, which was great because I had like the temporary one for the longest time and I didn't want to have to keep reapplying for it. So finally he was able to give me a permanent one. So yay! So I'm good until 2022. 2022. So yay! I'm vlogging on my phone now. I just wanted to show you what my thing looks like. This is what it looks like. This is the tripod I'm on. I have a little connector wrist strap down here. I'm getting another one that's tighter fitting. I'm also getting another tighter fitting one that goes just that I'm just kind of that goes onto my actual camera that's looped over the tripod too. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm paranoid of it falling off a tripod one day, or um, and then when I have the tighter fitting one, if I ever drop the camera and it's upside down, I'm hoping the tighter fitting one will keep the camera on if forever, forever, whatever reason the tripod fills one day. I am gonna get a different tripod, but n there's there's no telling. And tripod, I'm just I'm just nervous, and I like my camera, and I don't wanna break it. And I have ticks, so and I gotta be, I wanna take care of it, and I think this is the best way I can take care of it. So I am ordering better straps, but these are the straps that I'm using now. I have one on a strap on my phone too. Um, I will show you my shattered screen on the back of my camera, um, on the phone, um, later. But, I just wanted to show you what this looks like, so when I'm talking in public, I guess it'll look like that, but the, I'll have the camera pointed to me. I was filming something straight earlier, but normally I have the camera tilted like... You're on camera, you matter? Dr. Costa. Dr. Costa is who we're going to see. So, it will look like that, and then it has a flip-up screen, and it goes down back there. Um, so far, I really like it. We'll see how this vlog turns out. But we're seeing apparently Dr. Costa. Costa? So boy or girl, them or they, whatever they are. Hopefully I like them. Okay, it is bright as fuck. Okay, I left my locker in my car. So, I'm kind of 
I feel a little screwed. Normally, the black one is always in the car. It's been in the car for like months, but I took it to Best Buy because they have carpet and my one that I use by myself doesn't really work very well on carpet and especially now with the backs all run down. If you can hear my mom, I'm sorry. But yeah, so my mom's gonna have to help me. I don't seem too dizzy today, but I have periods where I'm just like drunk. So we'll see how this goes with Battle Walker today. No! I used to have ticks where my arm flinched up and it would just scare the crap out of me when I took blood. I don't want to get stabbed. <laughs> More than I already am, I guess. We're in the office. I like the mirror. I like how big it is. Why is it not focusing? There we go. See all the straps though? It's like wrapped around here. <laughs> and don't on my wrist too. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end this vlog out in the car because this this doctor appointment went really well. I like this doctor. He's an older guy and I can't remember his name, but I like him. Castro, Castro that's not his name. That's an evil person. Costa, sorry. Costa, that's his name. He's cool, and his nurses are like fun to chit chat with. I'm normally like I'm not a chitty chat person, but like since I guess late, I was, when did I start talking to them? Talking to them. Like when I was a kid, I did not do that. But um, it is starting to rain, so um, I'm gonna get some shots of that because rain is pretty, but it does make me hurt. It does make me have um, a lot of inflammation. Whew. And I've had a lot of ticks today. Today was a... I've had a lot of ticks today, so... So I'm probably gonna end this vlog out in the car because I don't really have anything that I just wanna talk about in my room by myself, but... This appointment really went, went really well. He thinks that the um, findings from Dr. Cantrell of the hypogammaglobinemia was correct. He is checking my blood again just to be sure, but he did recommend IVIG. So I don't know if you've heard about it, but I definitely have. And it looks like that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, they might have to, the insurance company might want me to try something else first. But, um, hey, so I'm back home and, um, I started throwing up and a bunch of other things happened and I had to stop the video and then I forgot to, like, finish it because that's how my brain is. Um, so I have to finish it here, but basically what I was saying, sorry, my chair is so squeaky, like, do you hear this? It's so annoying. Um, but basically what... Um, IV, blah, 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 IVIG is, is um, they take the um, plasma out of other people and then um, from the plasma they take out the globulins and or whatever it is. I don't know like exactly how you say it but basically they take that stuff out of healthy people and then give it to me and it's called IVIG. So let's like let's Let's look it up real quick. Okay, it's immunoglobulin therapy, also known as Norman Human Immunoglobulin. It is the use of it is the use of a mixture of antibodies to treat a number of health conditions. Okay, so the thing that I'm excited about, kind of, if I do this, is that it's supposed to help with a lot of other things. Um, 
things that I think I have, but I'm not totally sure. I needed to look into it, but I have heard that it works with that works for other things too. I asked the doctor about it, and he's like, uh, I do it for. He does it mainly for hypogammaglobulinemia, um, so which is the immune disorder that I have. So um, I need to research this more. And, you know, I'm going to see him in a month because that's how long the blood stuff is going to take and all that jazz. And then we'll talk about getting me on this. You know, he said that I might have to try something else because of insurance, but we will see. So, I need to dye my hair so bad. Do you see my roots? They're horrible. Let's look up at the, I want to look up the cost because he says it's extremely expensive. Goodness. Okay, so... This is a like a, I don't know how accurate this is, remember that. The direct cost of five IVIG infusion sustain, blah, 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 blah. the direct cost, my chair, the direct cost of five IVI infusion sessions totaling two grams per kilogram of body weight was $10,329.85. Compared to a series of five TPE procedures, I don't know what that is, which had direct cost of four thousand six hundred and thirty-eight dollars and sixteen cents. So I'm assuming TPE probably isn't as um, helpful because, like, when you're getting the IVIG, you're actually getting the stuff that you're missing. So I'm sure that's why it's more expensive. And you know you people that um, give their plasma are paid for it so of course they're paying people for this medicine and because it comes out of people's body and it takes a lot of time you know you got to go into this building Ooh, you're going into this building and basically you get a um, the first time you go in they kind of do like a whole body um, what is it called they do kind of like a physical on you, get a bunch of your medical history, all this stuff, okay? And um, they pay you for it. So if you're if that's or if you're interested in helping people and get paid, getting paid for it, you know, you should do it. I don't think I think a lot of people don't want to do it because I don't know. There's a lot of people that don't want to do it because of time, um, because it does take time. You know, you are getting stuck with a needle and having to sit there for a long time, but. Um, Normally the places that do it have free Wi-Fi, so that's a plus, but you should, if, you ha if you're able to do it, like, you should totally go do it because it will help people like me that have this um, immunodeficiency and it will help a bunch of other people because they use plasma for so many things. So, please go do that if you can, um, but yeah, IVIG comes from humans basically. And that's what my doctor wants me to be on. So, um, of course, I'll take y'all with me when I go to my next appointment. And I will update y'all when I know more about this. And, of course, thank you for watching. I love you. And I am glad that you are alive. Goodness, my voice. I'm sick right now. I'm always kind of sick, but I'm sick right now. Um, but I love you. And have a good night. Bye.